I am Lynn Faust and I live in Knoxville, Tennessee in the U.S. and I am known as the lightning bug lady, so I am a firefly nerd. I am very lucky having grown up in East Tennessee. We call them lightning bugs here and we are surrounded by many species. Our farm alone has over 26 species. I was actually an adult before I realized not everyone grew up enjoying lightning bugs, chasing them when they were little, catching them, letting them go. So I took them for granted until I was an adult. The light show itself on a peak night, it just blows your socks off. It is so beautiful, it is so mesmerizing, and you are surrounded with pulsating lights, and it's so silent. I'm always amazed how quiet it is because it's rhythmic and it's pounding, but there's no noise, there's no sound. Our oldest son had a friend, they all live in Wyoming, and he brought his little girls east one summer because in his words, he said, fireflies are the closest thing to fairies and magic that there are. And he said, I want my little girls to see them. It's all about sex, it's all about love, it's all about finding a mate. Each little male firefly, as soon as it emerges as an adult, is genetically programmed to give a certain flash in a certain pattern at a certain rate. They're flying around hoping one of their females will see their beautiful flash and the female will answer back in a little flash different than the males. The glowing actually began with the larvae millions and millions of years ago. They would glow advertising that they tasted bad. Like, you might not want to eat me, you might not want to touch me because I can hurt you back. Then at some point, once that gene was in them, it evolved to become more of a mating courtship flash in the adults. They are born with an enzyme called luciferase and it combines with another thing called luciferin. And you notice both of them have the word Lucifer in them, so they're named after the um, dark angel of light, Lucifer. That's where those words come from, and it just means light. When they combine in the presence of oxygen, ATP, magnesium, and recently they found nitric oxide, you get the flash. But some fireflies have gone one step further taken their light show to a whole new level. After all, what's better than a bright light flashing seductively in the dark? How about 10,000 of them, all flashing together in perfect synchrony? We really don't know the answer of why certain species are synchronous. They are genetically programmed, so it would happen over thousands, if not millions of years, this, to go from a regular flash to synchrony. Lots of things are synchronous in nature. Uh, schools of fish or flocks of birds, um, even turkeys gobbling will often gobble in synchrony. But even with the synchronous ones, the more you have, the better the synchrony. Our U.S. synchronous species, or Photinus carolinus, is the one I'm talking about right now, up in the Great Smoky Mountains. Their pattern is called a flash train, and it means they flash six times in rapid succession, followed by six seconds of dark. And that repeats over and over and over again all night. They're all flashing those six flashes at the same time, and then the forest goes completely dark for six seconds. And then they all begin again. And so when do you think those females would answer? They answer halfway through the six seconds of dark. And so that six seconds of dark has a real function. That's when the males can see their little tiny flash that usually happens on the ground. There are displays that will absolutely knock your socks off that are not synchronous. You don't just need to see the synchronous ones to see something beautiful. 
We have one called the Chinese lanterns. They will float just over the ground right as darkness falls, but they'll glow up to three seconds. They'll glow and then it will go off. And then a few seconds later, it will begin again. And uh, the first time we really noticed the beauty of this particular species, they were out over the water, so they were reflecting these lazy, beautiful glows. And it was mesmerizing. The heebie-jeebies that gather in trees, they don't flash in synchrony, but they just sparkle continuously. We've got bush babies, big dippers, the spring treetop flash, the shadow ghosts, the pink winkers. They flash very quickly. I have a favorite glider of my late mother-in-law's. You know what a glider is? It's not really a rocking chair, but it's this sort of wonderful thing that glides back and forth when you sit in it. And one of my happiest points of any day is after I fed the horses, I can hear them all eating, and I sit in the glider and I just watch the fireflies. So when the day comes where I can't tromp around the woods in the dark, I can get on that glider and still enjoy the lightning bugs. <laughs>